Hi everyone, welcome to the next video. Today we are looking for new apartments in Dubai and uh, you know we're getting a baby in seven months. So I decided uh, let me show you how searching for apartments looks like in Dubai and if you are thinking of changing apartments or even moving to Dubai you'll have, get an idea about uh, yeah how the apartments in general look like and uh, how to get uh, which which different areas there are in Dubai so we are looking for two bedroom apartments and really if you are looking to move here it is one of the most beneficial apartment uh, architecture because it gives you two to three bathrooms and really a lot of space so the kitchen will be integrated like inside of a living room and then for uh, you will get two apartments separately so uh, two sorry two bedrooms separately so really looking forward to introduce you to yeah this beautiful part of uh, my life right now and we are right now in the greens community it is one uh, very known for families and uh, yeah people with small kids so it would be quite nice for us to live over here and so behind me you can see it is very very beautiful so you've got like a small lake here and uh, yeah these are the buildings around and uh, here is the uh, here are like some large buildings and they look towards a golf court which is really a, like a luxury in such a big city so one thing about the greens it is a quite old community so these buildings are around so for dubai 10 years old is old yeah as a building uh, we'll keep you posted one before it was quite uh, loud in the bedroom actually so there is the AC under it under the uh, our bedroom and uh, it will be really I think not quiet evenings especially that's something you need always to be careful about if you're looking for an apartment in Dubai so just make sure that for each small details yeah that you consider it because uh, otherwise you will be uh, yeah you will be like exposed to chronic noises so really noises each time and you want to avoid this so yeah just uh, stay tuned i'll show you the next one hopefully it is uh, less loud yeah hi again so we are today uh, in the second round we are in the downtown of dubai and we will be looking at two different department uh, apartments here uh, yesterday you saw it was uh, yeah quite i would say interesting but disappointing so i was expecting a lot more from the greens but uh, yeah i hope today we'll be able to uh, find something which will give us this wow effect yeah uh, so yeah stay tuned i will be showing you a couple of stuff so you hear my throat uh, got a little bit sick yesterday after playing some football uh, before the visits that I showed you, but uh, yeah, let's hope uh, we'll get through the day uh, without a lot of uh, coughing and so on. Uh, yeah, so yeah, one more thing about uh, yesterday. So I was really annoyed by the uh, agent uh, who tried to pressure us. So just telling us that uh, other people have already made offers for these apartments and we need to act very quickly. And you know, so here in Dubai, you pay still buy checks so these checks means that you pay like um, either once a year so one check for the whole um, yeah rent for the whole year 
or you pay per month and so on. And he wanted to pressure us to pay by one check, which is, uh, well, you, you can go down with the prices, of course, but I think it's not uh, that optimal for you as a, as, 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 as a tenant, yeah? Uh, the more checks, the better. So please keep it in mind if you're searching. Try to negotiate the longest number of checks and also go down with the price. So negotiating in Dubai is very important. So do me a favor and negotiate. And yeah, so it was put under pressure and uh, I don't like this now. That's nothing for me. Uh, yeah, and today let's hope we'll get again this whole thing. Stay tuned, push the like button, subscribe. Now we're back home so you saw it was really uh, a lot of uh, visits that we did within uh, like two three days and yeah so my uh, main like conclusion so from the downtown apartment which was uh, next to the Burj Khalifa and the Dubai mall it was a great view it was uh, spacious yeah it's uh, to be honest one of my favorites but we still have to decide if we'll go with it we are still like negotiating and so on uh, the uh, next one was uh, the marina, so the elite residence. It is quite similar to what we have today, so also again we have to decide. It's quite high, does not have, it has a small balcony next to the kitchen. So yeah, and that it depends now on the landlord also if he's uh, ready to go down with the price. Uh, yeah, the minus part about it was uh, that it is quite loud, so you can hear the street downstairs and uh, 
Yeah, the positive part, it would be that we don't have to move. We're living next to it, so uh, the move will be quite smooth. Otherwise, the JLT one, yeah, I found it too small, so somehow I felt like uh, kept in prison, and uh, that's something to consider, um, especially if, you, if you're planning to live there like on the long term, it will get uh, somehow annoying. Uh, yeah, so that's that's the main part. I hope you enjoyed the videos. So the prices also were I mentioned them so you get like a Feeling what you could expect and uh, Yeah, so just remember negotiate the price negotiate the number of checks and uh, Also try to get like if, if, if the price is not negotiable you can start uh, negotiating like for example the kitchen appliances and so on to get them included inside the, the contract and uh, that's it so it is quite straightforward and um, you can contact the agents you may even get uh, to visit the apartments on the same day uh, and uh, usually so you will search for an apartment here in Dubai if you're looking to move like in two three weeks maybe four weeks uh, but not longer so if you're looking for an apartment in two months it will get quite difficult because uh, yeah this is somehow sp spontaneous culture so just keep that in mind and if you have any questions just leave them for me in the comment and i hope this video will help some of you during their search also the next video i will be showing you uh, where we are living right now so you get an idea also how the princess tower looks like so just keep posted it is it was the highest building back then so the highest residential building in the world and it is in the guinness uh, world record book so just uh, make sure you don't miss the next video it's, uh, it's it will be a really great one then have a nice one bye bye